I'm Mike DeVries. We're here at MD Tattoo Studio. The way that I got started in, in the tattoo industry, I mean, I loved everything about the art of tattooing ever since I was 16. That's when I first got my first tattoo. At that time, I was doing construction with my dad and didn't really ever know that I was actually gonna be a tattoo artist, you know, but I paid close attention to all the work that I was getting, you know, just because I was just so intrigued. I loved it. Five years later, I ran into uh, Jim Hayek, but he offered my cousin an apprenticeship and my cousin wasn't into tattoos. And I was like, well, Jim, I'm down. And uh, he's like, okay, well, show me what you got. So I went home for a few days and brought back a whole bunch of drawings and stuff. He's like, wow, he's like, all right, well, let's get started. Daniel Shashudian, he lived on my same street when growing up. And we used to carpool back and forth from school together and get into trouble when we were younger, so we have a pretty good past. We used to draw a lot when we were younger. That's what, what we used to do, is like just doodle and draw crazy faces all over my parents' walls in the bedrooms and stuff. Uh, I didn't know we would both end up tattooing. I had no clue that we would be doing that. It's kind of cool, though. And, and then, so yeah, he jumped on the opportunity as well. And he's now here doing great work. The way that I got involved with stencil stuff was about seven or eight years ago. I bought into the company, Mario Rose now. He was doing some homemade recipes. The next step was to get rid of all the bad elements that are in it and to make it 100% safe and to hold that stencil really well. And we achieved it. It took a long time. And then everybody at his shop at Art Junkies like loved it. And they were like, hey Mario, you got any of that stencil stuff? And then the name just stuck. But then, you know, now we have spray stuff for freehand tattoo artists. A question I get asked a lot is like, how do you make time for all of this? That's been my toughest battle, is to like balance the time. Sometimes I just gotta say, just stop, you're off of work. Like some people probably look at me, I wanna be a tattoo artist and this and that. Oh my gosh, that just seems just so amazing. But it's like, I envy the guys that have a nine to five job. You get off of work, you go home, you crack open a beer, you, you're done. Tattooing, it's not like that. But yeah, balancing the time, is, that's, that's the hardest part. You know, but you know, I, I try my best.